Parliamentary Affairs Minister, listen in. And joining us now is the Union Parliamentary Affairs Minister, Mr. Pralla Joshi. Appreciate your joining us, uh, uh, Mr. Joshi. You have called off the winter session of Parliament. You have written to the Congress's Lok Sabha leader, Adi Ranjan Chaudhary, saying all political parties favoured scrapping the session to avoid any COVID spread. But the opposition, particularly the Congress, says there was no consultation. No one was consulted before taking such a major decision. What is the truth, Mr. Joshi? The truth is, I have, it is already in the public domain. I have spoken to the leaders of the Congress party. And if there is a communication gap or if Congress party doesn't want to, Congress party, Mr. Jairam Ramesh has raised the issue, if he doesn't want to talk to Gulam Nabi Ajad, then it is not my fault. And today he has given some clarification that I have talked yesterday. I had quoted this. And after that, he has said that I have spoken to him. Now I don't want to debate much on that, but I can only say I have spoken to the both the leaders of the Congress party and the many other leaders also. And I would like to ask one question to you, Rajdeep ji. Why did they ask many people when there was BAC meeting of both Raj Sabha and Lok, Lok Sabha during the recently concluded session in September, why they were demanding to conclude early? And how many people of the Congress and other, especially the TMC also has raised objection, how many people they are attending the parliamentary party meeting, I mean, sorry, standing committee meeting? See, let us, Congress should be democratic. No, no, but, but, but Mr. Joshi, actually, democracy, no, no, but people. Mr. Joshi, actually, no. actually in September, no, no, you're, you're saying that mm. they, they, uh, you want to uh, further democracy, not hypocrisy. It's a nice one line, but the fact is mm. that in the month of mm. September, Mm. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, Mr. Yeah. Joshi, coronavirus was far more widespread than it is today. The government is claiming number of cases are coming down all the time. So what is the signal that you're sending? You can hold elections in Bihar. You can conduct other public gatherings. You can have other public functions, but you will not hold parliament. What, what is the message going out? What is the message going out when we are among the few countries in the world which is no, not no. holding a parliament? <laughs> No, no, what I am, I have already con I mean, conveyed what I have to say. I am telling after due consultation and the recent in the, when there were very serious hike in the numbers in between in November and December, I mean, especially in the end of the November and December, mm -hmm. at that time we consulted and many senior leaders, I don't want to take the name, many senior MPs who, whom I have spoken, they have clearly told me that anyhow in January we are holding the session. Till then, vaccine may be also is a, a vaccine is also expected. That's why, after consulting, this decision has been taken. And January we are holding full pledge session, Mr. Rajiv Sir. They say there is no message or no not, nothing like that. We are sending. We are very clear, and we are we believe in democracy, and we are doing like mm -hmm. that always. So what would you tell the Congress party in particular, which is saying that the government wants to avoid a debate on contentious issues like the farm laws in parliament? Because there is I spoke no question to several of avoiding debate, uh, senior leaders, they say none of them were consulted. No, no, if they say like that, I don't have any option. After this, after this episode, I have none. I mean, I have to record hmm. whatever I am speaking. Whenever if I took, speak to them personally also, if I speak to them over phone, then I should start recording. Is it fair in the public life? See, when I am claiming it with all responsibility and I have told it, when I have, when I have spoken, mm -hmm. where I have spoken, all these things, it is not, de decency doesn't demand that. Let, let, let uh, Adiranjan Chaudhary and... Uh, so, uh, 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 Gulam Nabi ji, say this in public. L let them say it in in front of me. What is this? This is I I don't I don't want to enter into the debate in that. I can only very very confidently I am telling I have what spoken about, to them. What about the charge? We have taken all. What about the charge Sorry? that you are avoiding uh, that the government wants to avoid a debate on the. What about the charge that the government wants no to avoid of, a debate is, on the farm laws at this? There is no uh, question. Why why moment? we should. The, why we should avoid, we are in a very strong footage and we are on a very strong footage and we have already discussed this matter and with a four, four, four hours it has been discussed in Raj Sabha, four hours in Lok Sabha, 
that is not correct that whatever all these questions were replied and even if there are good suggestions see the amendment of the law is an ongoing process rajdeep ji it is not that one day it is finished many laws have been mm -hmm. passed and many laws have been mm -hmm. repeated in last 70 years many laws have been amended and anything is there we are open for that and some mm -hmm. of the sections which they had some apprehension government has already conveyed them if there is needs to be some amendment in these laws we are open for that what is there to hide or what is there to skip it is not yeah. correct we are not at all avoiding there is no question of avoiding and wh what is the public support that public support is displayed in the entire country where in recent all elections including uh, rajasthan which is uh, supporting this uh, hesitation so called former hesitation they are supporting what happened in uh, recently held election what happened in goa what happened in this 51 election is it not the public support after this law pass after the passing of this mm -hmm. law only the all these elections are held then we people are not supporting then it would have been a different story mr rajdeep sir you can you can you cannot so claim you like said that, that Congress you, you ho hope to hold a full session from okay i'm i'm only telling you i sir i i am telling you what the opposition claims you are you have every right to respond as the parliamentary affairs minister my question to you uh, mr joshi though is that you have said there will be a full session you hope from january what will change between now and january if the corona okay. vaccine is not available will you then have to push that session or will you look for some alternatives no no now why you are so much pessimistic we are optimistic and there will be red there will because now it is too much of cold what what people not the senior mps have expressed i am telling since it is very cold and the cold atmosphere is not good to the corona corona symptoms is that's why they have advised and in january comparatively with there will be less cold and also i am quite hopeful there will be vaccine and there will be reduction in the number why are you so much pessimistic Cong congress should be so much pessimistic i am optimistic so there will be full pledged session and there will be reduction in number and uh, there will be vaccine this is what i have confirmed that's why that's why we have uh, we have come to the I men after consulting all so the there people, will be a come to this conclusion so there will be a full there will be a full budget session and that will be held on schedule of course i am now I, I have told it many a times okay uh, mr joshi very interestingly shashi tharur uh, has suggested that in this digital age could you not have connected all the mps digitally this is the age of digital if you wanted to really you could find some alternatives to uh, forcing uh, in a way a physical session there could be alternatives of virtual session of parliament have you considered that at all no that is the speaker and uh, chairman has to decide it and there are some, i mean there are some legal and uh, uh, hurdles of the farm and rules also and uh, let us see it and now at present that decision has to be a call has to be taken by the speaker and the chairman and uh, when as and when if a government is consulted mm -hmm. by the presiding officer we will give our opinion so far we have not formed any opinion but there are some hurdles as far as rules and law is concerned for to hold it virtually uh, let me finally ask you you said that the that it is cold and yes it is very cold at the moment in delhi which is one of the reasons why you are pushing forward uh, the session at corona times but I, I hope that you will appreciate that there are farmers the also others. who are today in the cold. Sure, but I, 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 I'm sure you know that there are farmers no, also I, I, who are sitting out in the cold. So we can only hope that there will be a solution sooner rather than later. No, no. Government is open. Government is open for any discussion, debate and find out the solution. And uh, have and few thousand people coming and repeal the entire law that is that cannot be accepted okay mr there is a, some Joshi, system you made to it make very the clear law in your this position country. very clear thank you right i appreciate your joining us uh, what, I am, telling, what I am telling what i am telling you have given us some important news points we are open for yes, any sir. discussion yes sir go ahead we are open for any discussion but okay. Fair sitting enough. on the road and asking to repeal is not accepted this is what i have told okay
Fair enough. Mr. Joshi, appreciate your joining Thank us. You. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, the Parliamentary Affairs Minister making it clear there that there will be a 